Hello everyone, today we'll be going through your novel book called Don Quixote de la Mancha. So about the author, Miguel de Cervantes was a 16th century Spanish writer. He was considered to have written the first modern novel by pioneering the use of everyday speech to depict the realities of everyday lives. Although his novels are well known, not much is known about him. It is rare to find an accurate portrait of him as his is based on imagination only. With that being said, let's go th through each of the chapters of your novel. An introduction to that Spanish gentleman. In the first chapter, we find the main protagonist, Alondo Quijano. He read so many books about knights that he went insane, even as far as to become a knight himself. Alonso changed his name to Don Quixote de la Mancha and dressed in knight's armour to prove himself worthy to a lady that has no idea that he exists. He sets forth on his adventures. In the following chapters, Don Quixote had not yet been knighted. As a result of this, he implores an innkeeper to knight him in an absurd ceremony. Furthermore, he was also missing a squire, which is a crucial part of being a knight. He recruits Sancho Panza, who is an honest but gullible man. From a lack of experience, the duo hilariously lose several battles. Don Quixote and the Goat Herds Not long after, Don Quixote tells Sancho of the Potion of Fiarabras. It is a powerful medicinal potion which could cure every wound instantly with a single drop. As night falls, the companions come across the generous goat herd's dwellings. They welcome the duo, fed them, dressed Don Quixote's injured ear in wine, oil, and rosemary leaves. After departing from the goat herd's lodgings, they encounter complications with some merchants and become injured again. However, they decide to fight severely even though they were outnumbered. How Sancho Paid Reckoning at the Inn Following the Yanguizians and merchant quarrel, they travel down a road where Sancho notices an inn to which an injured Don Quixote mistakes it for a castle. While lodging in the inn that night, Don Quixote was convinced that wine, oil, salt and rosemary to be the medicine for the potion of Fiorabras. Consequently, Don Quixote recovered and was in search of new adventures. He believes, since he is a knight, he does not have to pay for the inn and runs away. By doing this, Sancho is punished instead for Don Quixote's wrongdoings. The Battle of Two Armies In this part of the story, Don Quixote believes a flock of sheep were two great armies in a furious battle. Due to his passions, he wanted to help the battle and begins to attack the sheep, mistaking them for the armies. The shepherds panic and become furious at Don Quixote and begin to throw stones at him in hopes of stopping the attacks. Sancho is seen on top of a hill while Don Quixote consumes the potion of Fiebraras to tend to his injuries. Sancho searches for a saddlebag which contains their food but it is nowhere to be seen. The hungry companions set off to find a shelter to stay the night. Don Quixote does penance. Some time has passed and Don Quixote decides to perform penance to earn Dulcinea's love. He writes a love letter and an order for three donkey colts to be given to Sancho. While the letter is being delivered to Dorothea, Sancho meets some familiar faces, the curate and the barber from Don Quixote's home village. The curate devises a plan to bring Don Quixote back home. The story of Cardinio and Dorothea. The group of men meet Cardinio at the foot of the mountain. He boasts about his place of birth and his noble lineage, but tries to evoke empathy through his great misfortunes. He reads a letter which motivated him to ask Lucinda to be his wife. However, Don Fernando sabotages the wedding and asks her to be his wife, to which Lucinda agrees to. They also meet Dorothea, who was supposed to marry Don Fernando, but for some unknown reason married Lucinda. Cardinio and Dorothea become companions through their shared hardships and agree to the curate's plan to bring Don Quixote back home. The Last Adventures of Our Good Knight As they leave the mountain and return to the inn, Don Fernando had arrived with Lucinda. 
to reconcile with each other, everyone explains their side of the story and face much tension, anger and repentance. However, after some time, each person eventually happily returns to their original lover. The knight and squire encountered many adventures and courageous battles during their visit to Dulcinda. This includes a battle with a giant and a meeting with Princess Miko Mikona. After all the many adventures the duo faces, Don Quixote is finally carted home and lives a quiet life without the hope of going abroad again. So that concludes the novel summary for Don Quixote de la Mancha by Miguel de Cervantes. Thank you everyone for listening and I hope you can now read the novel with a better understanding of the plot.